Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's web whiz video number 16 where once again I take you on a very quick journey through some of my favourite mathematical websites. Well it was a few weeks ago on this web whiz video series that I showed you my all time favourite maths blog which is written by the very talented Colleen Young. Well Colleen has a rival and hopefully it will be a friendly rivalry because you can never have too many maths blogs and this one is absolutely brilliant it is number loving so if we just give that a google number loving and give it a click it's another wordpress blog which if you are thinking of setting up a blog wordpress is absolutely fantastic and just like colleen young's blog this one is written by two teachers in this case and it's just them keeping on top of all the latest mathematical developments and being kind enough to share it with the rest of us so uh, first thing let's have a look who has written this so it's written by two authors uh, it's written by Sharon Derbyshire and Laura Rees Hughes. Now, Laura Rees Hughes's name might be familiar to the TES users because she's contributed loads of fantastic resources to test catchphrase, um, top trumps, all sorts going on there. Um, and if you haven't checked out her resources, um, and if we have time at the end, I'll show you how to access them on TES. Anyway, back to the blog that uh, Laura and Sharon have kindly put together. So it's updated really regularly and I take my hat off to them because I tried a blog once and flipping heck, I did it for about two weeks and that was about it. But here we go, 10th of January, we've got an entry on transformations and this is brilliant. Um, just the, the two ladies who've set this up have picked out four songs of which has something to do with transformations just to hook the students in when you're about to start tackling the topic a bit of jacko at the bottom there as well always a good thing on the 2nd of january they have a brilliant entry here about a grady intervention evening uh, that was run recently and what's fantastic about this is all the resources are shared so you've got here loads of uh, some really good micro sites for um, algebra revision and data handling and so on you've got mini lesson materials where parents were invited to sit on sit in with their students on a revision lesson um, a document which you can give out to your students which has useful websites um, that's a title that hooked me in the long multiplication grade C evening sounds like a good night there loads of stuff going on and again it's all been shared absolutely fantastic stuff um, some great stuff on Tarsia puzzles uh, the ladies like myself seem to be a big fan of these and again it's not just giving you the puzzles but it's loads of good tips about how to use them including a brilliant piece of advice about how to um, avoid the issue with Tarsia and inserting pictures so take a look at that if you get a chance loads of great stuff here uh, and remember this is just in the last kind of month or so uh, Sudo Sudoku um, a brilliant one here that I wasn't aware of but I was speaking to the teachers at work and apparently I'm a bit behind the times here Hanji a brilliant one here where it's all to do with logic and shading brilliant uh, to challenge your gifted and talented students or to give us extension work at, at the end of a lesson so again it's just absolutely rampacked of lo with loads of absolutely brilliant ideas again there's uh, some great archive material if I just show you this one here that I was a big fan of from November uh, some good stuff on stem there uh, this is brilliant um, mobile phone friend not foe it's all about the QR code scanner now if you've used smartphones or you know students who've got them um, these QR things I've got absolutely massive potential I think in the classroom uh, you scan them and it can take you either to an internet site or it can give you a clue or something like that all completely free easy to set up and Laura oh dear me another email sorry about that and Laura has actually uh, created a few of these uh, treasure hunts Jeez, the emails are coming through thick and fast. Laura's created a few of uh, some mathematical treasure hunts that use these QR codes, and they're all available for free on TES. So it's an absolutely fascinating blog. I strongly recommend signing up to it. Just pop your email in there, and then you'll get an email every time it's updated. And with this and Colleen Young's maths blog, well, it really is kind of keeping me on top of all the stuff that's going on in the maths world. If I just take a moment to very quickly show you how you can find Laura's excellent resources, if you just go onto the TES resources tab, ignore that guy there and if we just scroll down to the TES maths resources collection then I've assembled most of Laura's stuff in the more mathematics collections at the bottom so you have her excellent CSI collections she's got some GeoGebra stuff there uh, there's a top trump stuff um, and it's all there some absolutely fun fascinating stuff please please give it a look so that's number loving it's a maths blog and it's absolutely brilliant and it's this week's web whiz video I'll be back with a fresh one next week Bye for now.